the epistle for the fifth Sunday after Easter is a reading from St. James's letter. Beloved, be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man looking at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away. And presently he forgets what kind of man he is. But he who has looked carefully into the perfect law of liberty and has remained in it, not becoming a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, he shall be blessed in his deeds. And if anyone thinks himself to be religious, not restraining his tongue, but deceiving his own heart, that man's religion is vain. Religion, pure and simple, before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their tribulation, and to keep oneself unspotted from this world. The gospel is a continuation of the gospel according to St. John. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, if you ask the Father anything in my name, he will give it to you. Hitherto you have not asked anything in my name, Ask, and you shall receive, that your joy may be made full. These things I have spoken to you in parables. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in parables, but will speak to you plainly of the Father. In that day you shall ask in my name. And I do not say to you that I will ask the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came forth from God. I came forth from the Father and have come into the world. Again, I leave the world and I go to the Father. His disciples said to him, Behold, now thou speakest plainly and utterest no parable. Now we know that thou knowest all things and dost not need that anyone should question thee. For this reason we believe that thou camest forth from God. Thus far the words of the gospel. wish to all the mothers and grandmothers a very blessed Mother's Day. After Mass today, we'll have the blessings of the mothers and the distribution of a, a rose to all of our, our mothers and grandmothers. There'll be no Mass here until Thursday, which is a holy day of obligation, Ascension Thursday. The two Masses will be at noontime and at 6.15 p.m., in the evening. Confessions will be before both of those masses. This mass will be offered by Reverend Father Pardue, Giles Pardue. So it'll be his first mass um, here in Lafayette, as I will be leaving today, hopefully on time, uh, for Brazil for the ordination of uh, soon-to-be Father Bonaventure which is next Saturday. So I ask your prayers for safe travels, both for him and for myself. Um, and uh, I would like to thank you for your prayers for Reverend Father uh, Pardue. The ordination was beautiful. And unfortunately, the, the miking wasn't as good as it might have been. Uh, the music was spectacular, just spectacular. And the ceremonies, um, very well, very well done. Um, <clears throat> so I'm sure you'll be looking forward to seeing him. And I would remind you that we'll have a solemn high mass for him, um, with myself and uh, Father Bonaventure on the last, on Pentecost Sunday, the last Sunday of the month of May. Um, there'll also be a reception. So if you are interested, um, I don't think we still don't have a list out there for people to sign up. Um, but we're looking forward to a good turnout for that reception. Um, and then uh, the Mass, I would ask you to look at the calendar in the bulletin to see the Mass schedule for Friday and Saturday, which are ordinary, noon Mass, and then um, 
Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Mass, as usual. Um, I'll endeavor to post out the novena to the Holy Ghost as we're preparing for that. That begins with Friday, May the 19th. So um, you might be able to pray the novena to the Holy Ghost uh, in preparation for Pentecost. And if you have anything to be blessed or you already placed things to be blessed, everything in the room that was there has been blessed. Anything new will be blessed at the end of this Mass. Special feast this week, Wednesday the 17th, St. Paschal Balon, Franciscan, yay, uh, patron of Eucharistic Congresses. And the 20th, uh, St. Bernardin of Siena, again, Franciscan, patron of the veneration of the holy name of Jesus. And uh, boy, I'm just thinking to myself with a, saying Franciscan so often, you may end up like my dear stepmom, Jane Ann, uh, she thought that all saints were Jesuits because she grew up in, in Grand Coteau. <laughs> all the saints are Jesuits. For the Father loves, himself loves you because you have loved me and believed that I came forth from God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Our Lord tells us he came from the Father, and he returns to the Father. And you, how do you come to the Father? It's through your baptism. That's how you come to the Father, especially when you're young. And then... We choose to come to the Father. Through the grace of the Holy Ghost and confirmation, we choose to become soldiers of Christ. And the reward? Behold, I go to the Father. If you are faithful, if indeed you have loved the Father and done his will as our Lord Jesus Christ filled the will of the Father, Today is Mother's Day. There's no greater, greater desire than that a mother should be amongst her children. That is a delight. We hear the story. It was told in the Brook Brooklyn tablet, not that you'd pick up the Brooklyn tablet and read it, I'm sure. But there was an experienced father who was an auditor, uh, a form of accounting. And he had a very keen ear and memory, and accustomed to keeping numbers. This father was required to look after his own family for a day. And being an auditor, he said, well, I'm going to find out what my wife's doing all day. And so... He decided to keep a running record of what took place in the day. Here are some of the totals. Open the door for children 106 times. Close the door for children 106 times. Tie their shoes 16 times. Rescue a creeping baby 21 times told the two-year-old George, don't, 94 times. <laughs> Stopped quarrels, 16 times. Spread jelly uh, on uh, butter and jelly on bread, 11 times. Distributed cookies, 28 times. Served a glass of water, 15 times. Answered the telephone. Now, this number is way off because... There were not many phones back in the 40s, seven times. Wiped noses, 19 times. Answered questions, 145 times. Stumped by questions, 175 times. Lost temper, 47 times. 
ran after children about four and a half miles. <laughs> Boy, what a confession that would make for the confessional. Lost temper. The exhausted head of the house had to admit that he might have been too busy to record every time he did something in that household for the children. Many incidentals, like picking up toys, taking the scissors away from a baby, which he did in stride without having to a second of leisure in order to record such events. The list also failed to include countless other activities for the average mother, such as washing, ironing, patching, cooking, shopping. The list goes on and on, including watching for many hours, numerous interruptions of sleep, phone calls, other works, preparing bottles, seeing to the feeding and changing of essential clothing of children. Nor did he record the hours of anxiety when the little one was sick or upset or when the mother was wondering what's going on at school, what's going on amongst the playing children. Neither could he list the weary worries of a mother during the teen years of her children. If you want to get some idea of your, what your mother did for you, watch a mother with little children, perhaps even at church. Don't turn around. On the street, in a public place, on an airplane, for instance, what complete unselfish taxing service they make. Try it. Just try it. Try to hold a 20-pound squirming child with ribbons and hats and all, every once in a while grabbing at your hair. Try to keep him from putting a, uh, a rosary away or breaking this or that or shoving some envelope or nickel or coin into their eager mouths. Everything goes there. Try to keep him covered and yet not too warm. Try to show him off to others without his tumbling off this way or that way into a pew or over the back seat of a car or some other awkward position. Try to keep him from, from speaking when a priest is giving a sermon. <laughs> well, what luck do you have? Once you were a baby like that, a mother held you in her arms and fed you, washed you, changed you at least a dozen times in a day. That is your mother. Whether she bore you or not, that is your mother who put up with all of that for love of you. That is what every mother is. No human auditor or accountant can ever do justice to the arithmetic of motherhood. So to take a record, it would take a recording angel to add up all that a mother does for her children. And so too, no record uh, or earthly reward can ever be given for, for a mother for the hours and the years and the toils and the tears and the heartaches and heartbreaks a child will cost a mother. Such records are only kept in heaven. Rewards for this work are only given in heaven to those who do it for the love of God. Do it for the love of God. To sanctify yourself, mothers, and sanctify your children. Nevertheless, we make a fervent and a feeble attempt once a year to show our appreciation to those who brought us into this world, what they have done for us. We set aside a day in this May to honor them, to thank them, to do a little problem of arithmetic of motherhood by adding up all their sacrifices, their labors, and their pains for us, making a small recompense. Most appropriately, we honor mothers in this month dedicated to the mother of, a, of us all. Who could ever compute the arithmetic of her motherhood, of her loving, of her suffering on our behalf, 
her prayers and her aspirations, her constant seeking after us, all the visions that have come, all the messages she has given in order to draw us to keep our face towards our Father in heaven, that we should do penance to crush our self-love and our attachment to this world. All the desire that she has had and all the penances she did in her world in order that we might have that example and follow after her, her discomforts, her fears, her labors, and her sorrows. And let us bear in mind that her preternatural gifts made all of those far more acute than anything that we can contemplate in ourselves. She was the mother of God, the Almighty. She, gave, she was given every possible grace and beauty because of that mission. We honor her on Mother's Day, along with all our er earthly mothers who are first to tell us about our Heavenly Mother, to show our appreciation of this arithmetic of motherhood. We need to add more tokens of praise, more expressions of thanks, more proofs of our love of Mary and of all mothers. We need to multiply our words of gratitude, our gifts this day and all other days, our smiles of love, our being with her. For nothing delights a mother than her children should be about her. So Our Lady asks us to be about her in that rosary and on this day in the month of May to bring our flowers to her, to honor her. Mother knows how precious that is. It means that a child is thinking about them. That's very precious in their hearts. We need to divide some of the attention we give to less important persons, less meaningful things, and give some of that devotion to those people who mean the most to us, those who deserve it the most, our mothers. We need to subtract a great deal of the forgetfulness of the lack of appreciation, of downright ingratitude on our part that we have shown them. Our Heavenly Mother and our Earthly Mother have done a limitless list of things for us, of services for us. If you heard Father Giles' sermon, you could see how much he understands what he owes to his own mother. Well, I think that's true of every priest, and especially true of a priest with regard to the Blessed Mother, who is the mother of every vocation to the priesthood. Our Heavenly Mother and our earthly mothers have done so much for us. We can every day add to the list of things that we can do for them. May God reward as only God can every service done by our mother in heaven and our earthly mother here below. A blessed Mother's Day to you all and a blessed Mother's Day to our Heavenly Mother. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, amen.